Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Mountain Blade Bandalord and we're bringing you five best suits of armor. So this is going to be a... it's going to be two lists. Basically I'm going to show you the five best suits of armor, which, you know, the title, thumbnail, and what I just said should have already told you that. But in essence, basically what this is, is a top five list of each piece of armor. So this is going to show you the five best... Uh, chest armors or full body armors I should say the five best shoulder armors five best gauntlets five best boots and five best helmets so uh, logic would follow that you could mix and match any of these pieces and it's going to be the five you know you're going to have the best suits of armor in the game if you mix any of these up now I will do them in order so each one in order but obviously as you'll see in it not all of them look perfect together so mixing and matching I would say is appropriate um, but yeah, with all that in mind, uh, we'll just get right into it. So let's start off with number five. So at number five, we have this one here. And you'll forgive me, but I didn't name any of these suits. Uh, and the weapon and shield don't matter. So that should go without seeing. Neither does the horse or the male, or, uh, the barding or whatever. So this suit is made up of the Eastern Noble Helmet with Neck Guard. The Northern Lamellar Shoulders, and now the Brass Shoulders are the same, they have the same stats, like exact same stats, but these ones look better with the rest of the suit, so I did choose the Northern Lamellar Shoulders over the Brass Lamellar Shoulders. Uh, then we have the Northern Coat of Plates, which is a pretty dang good suit of armor, or piece of armor, I should say. The Reinforced Male Mittens, which, again, pretty good, and Strapped Male Chosses. So this is, each one of these pieces, like I said at the beginning, this is all the fifth best, so that's the fifth best helmet in the game. 5th best shoulder armor, 5th best uh, body armor, 5th best male mittens, and 5th best strapped male chosses. So, that those rules are going to follow throughout this list. So, uh, with all that in mind, like I said, this one, it's kind of a mix. You've got your uh, eastern helmet up here, but I think it actually kind of looks pretty good with it. Northern coat of plates uh, doesn't actually seem out of place with the male mittens, the chosses, or the... Uh, pauldrons this suit actually looks pretty good so this one has a total value of 477,351 gold so that's pretty expensive but trust me that's only going to go up from here uh, it has a weight of 28.8 kilograms putting it pretty heavy but uh not too much so for a suit of armor in this game it's actually decently light uh, that's one thing the higher end armors in this game not only have really good defense stats but also are usually not as heavy as a lot of the other armors in the game so just because it's better doesn't mean it has to be heavier. This one has a total armor rating, or TAR, of 200 right on the nose. So that is, uh, that's number five. Let's move on to number four. So this is the uh, fourth best suit of armor. Again, following the same rules as before. So each one of these uh, is the fourth best piece of armor overall. Uh, now this one, the look does not fit together as well as the last one. But like I said, this is not based on looks. These are, it's just purely stats. So this suit is made up of the pointed Northern Lord helmet with feather. A pretty goofy looking helmet. Offers real good protection. Only these two little holes, but uh, mail all the way around with plates on it. Like I said, it's a it's a really good helmet protection-wise. Uh, just really funny looking. And then quite possibly the worst combination of shoulders and armor ever, we have the Lamellar shoulders, which are, are good armor and look really good when paired with the right types of armor. Unfortunately, the coat of plates over mail is not the right type of armor. It looks really funny, at least in my opinion. You tell me if you don't think it looks funny, but I think that looks ridiculous. Uh, then we have the decorated imperial gauntlets, which are some of my favorite, just because they look really cool. They have the gold inlay in their plate, so I love them. And the decorated imperial boots, which is the same thing. You just got some nice leather boots with some uh, decorated imperial plates over them. So uh, overall, like I said, this suit just looks ridiculous. But it is, like I said, each one of these is the fourth best in their class in the entire game. Uh, stats for this suit, we have a value of 617,465 gold. So uh, about not quite 200,000 more than the last suit. Uh, weight of 38.3 kilograms, which I believe makes it the heaviest suit of armor in the, uh, in, on this list. A lot of that coming from the coat of plates over mail, which is pretty heavy, you know. These are all pretty, I mean, they're not all heavy, but... It is the heaviest suit overall on this list. And then it has a uh, TAR, or Total Armor Rating, of 206. So, oops. So just six points higher than the last one. Uh, but yeah, that is number four. Let's move on to number three. 
So at number three, we have one that I actually, this is a surprisingly good suit of armor. Now you may not uh, have thought it because these pieces of armor, for the most part, are pretty underrated in the game and don't look like much, but trust me, this is a really good suit of armor. So this one is made up of the Western Crown Plated Helmet, which is one of the coolest helmets in the game. I really like it. It's got very uh, Norman vibes to it, so if you really like that style of armor, this fits. Uh, definitely a cool helmet. The Southern Scale Shoulders, which don't go with a lot of armor in the game, but on the bright side, they do go with the Southern Scale Armor, which is a stealth armor because it's, it's actually a lot cheaper than most top tier armor. Uh, but it's got really good stats, so, as, and when you pair it with these shoulders, it looks awesome. It's It blends all together. It's like they were made to go together, because they were. Then we have the Rough Tide Bracers, another stealth piece of armor, because most people look at it and they, they don't see a whole lot. It's, it's pretty cheap, but uh, they boast some pretty impressive stats. So, very, very cool there. And then the Highland Warlord Boots. Uh, so you can see those down below. High, uh, so we've got a combination of Landian, some southern stuff, so Azurai feeling stuff. Rough Tide Bracers, which I don't know, that could really be anywhere. I kind of associate it with the Kuzates or the Batanians, but it could really be anywhere. And the Highland Warlord Warlor Boots, which is a uh, Batanian armor. So overall, very, very mixed, but this one I think looks pretty good together. So as far as stats go for this one, this one is, I believe, the cheapest on the list, coming in at 363,845 gold, so very, very affordable as far as top tier armor goes. Uh, it's pretty light, not the lightest, but pretty light. It comes in at 25.9 kilograms, making it a decent, uh, you know, not too heavy considering how much production it offers. And this one has a TAR, or total armor rating, of 214. So, 14 points higher than the first one, uh, and 8 points higher than the last. So, uh, not too shabby if I do say so. So that was number three. Let's move on to number two. So here at number two, we have this suit of armor. Pretty cool looking. Now, I, I'm not in love with most of the Imperial helmets in the game, and this one is, you know, not an exception to that. They're just too tall and conical for me. I prefer a uh, shorter helmet. But, you know, that's just me. So let's just go through the parts. This one has the Imperial Jeweled Helmet, so that's the second best helmet in the game. The Highland Warlord Pauldrons, which are the second best pauldrons in the game. As you can see, they match the Warlord boots from the last set. I definitely really like these. I think they're cool. I think they're a little bulky looking, but I think with a lot of suits of armor that I've made, they look really good. Uh, then we have the Lamellar with Scale Skirt, which is usually, now it depends where you are on the map because the prices just fluctuate wildly, but usually this is the most expensive piece of uh, chest armor right up there with the coat of plates. They're very expensive pieces of armor. Uh, then we have the Heavy Male Mittens, which are very good, obviously, second best, second best in the game. Uh, I like how they look. I like the shiny plate on top of the mail. I think that looks really cool. And then the Northern Plated Boots. Yeah, the, the first suit of armor had the Northern Plate armor, so these boots match that pretty well. So that overall, that's all the second best pieces of armor in the game. I think this one, like I said, the only one on this list that... I think really, really didn't match was the fourth suit. So this one looks pretty good. Obviously, it's, you know, it's going to come down to personal taste, but that's uh, that's where this one sits. This one has a uh, value of 817,585, so coming up close to a million gold, so that's very expensive. A weight of 24.8 kilograms, making it the lightest suit of armor on this list, so that's definitely fun, and a TAR, or total armor rating, of 226, making it... 26 points better than the lowest uh, level one on this list, and 12 points better than number three. So this is number two. Let's move on to the f best suit of armor in the game at number one. And so for the best suit of armor in the game, it should come as no surprise to anyone who plays the game that it's going to be basically all Imperial stuff because they just dominate when it comes to armor. So this suit is made up of the Imperial Guarded Lord Helmet. Again, I really don't like how it looks, but it is the best in the game. Uh, the Imperial Lamellar Shoulders. Now, these ones I do utilize in a lot of suits of armor. They're they're very good and, again, best in the game. Uh, the Imperial Scale Armor, which is the best body armor in the game. The Lamellar Plate Gauntlets, which match the uh, shoulders. And then the Lamellar Plate Boots. So, this one, obviously, as you can see, is very heavy on the Lamellar aspects of, uh, of armor in the game. Uh, as far as appearance goes, I think this one matches the best out of any of these suits. You know, mainly because it's clear that this stuff was all meant to go together. Again, I don't care much for the helmet, but if you're going for just stats, this is the all-around best suit you can build in the game. 
So with stats in mind, this one has a total value of 920,910 gold, making it very, very, very expensive, uh, the most on this list by far. Uh, it comes in with a weight of 25.2 kilograms, so just slightly heavier than the last one. So again, like I said, despite having some of the best stats in the game, it's not the heaviest armor in the game. And a total armor rating, or TAR, of 242, making it 42 whole points better than the worst suit of armor on this list, and, and 16 points better than number 2. So overall, you really can't beat this armor. Now, with all of that in mind, with everything I've said so far on this list, like I said, you could mix and match any of these parts, so any of the five I've listed for each of these, and you're still going to come up with one of the best suits of armor in the game. Now, if you take any part, you know, if you were to take one of these parts and swap it with another one on the list, it won't be as good as this suit of armor, which is the absolute best you can build, uh, but you might be able to swap something out, make it a little bit lighter, or if you don't like how the helmet looks and you liked... Say if I was going to pick one on this one, I think my favorite is probably the one I had for number three, the Western Crown Plated Helmet out of the ones on this list. So I'd probably swap that out. Uh, and then even though this is the best body armor in the game by a long shot, I like how the coat of plates looks better, so I might pop that on there. But uh, no matter what you do, these are going, you know, any combination of these pieces are going to be the best armor you can use in the game. So I hope this guide was useful. Uh... If you found it useful, I'd you know it'd be cool if you smash a like button, leave a comment down in the section below. Uh, comment section below. If you have any suggestions or any suits that you really like that work really well, of course I invite you to leave that there. Uh, but in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.